And what about the trajectories of Bohmian particles? Can we observe them? In general, the trajectories cannot be observed in the usual sense of measuring the particle's position in short time intervals. This interaction with the measurement apparatus changes the original trajectory. So one doesn't observe the trajectory the particle would have taken if one had not measured it. Or in other words, by the process of measuring the position of a particle, you have to somehow interact with it. And with this interaction, you always disturb its motion. Now in some situations, namely when one can neglect the interference effects of the wave function, say for example when one deals with a very heavy particle or an object composed of very many particles, then one can actually show that the Bohmian trajectories become classical. And then of course you can observe them. If you throw a stone, you can observe its trajectory with your naked eye, because the interaction of photons with the stone don't disturb its motion very much. Recently, a lot of progress in observing trajectories of single particles has been made by so-called weak measurements. These are measurements that disturb a particle trajectory only very little. On the downside, in a single run, a weak measurement gives you only very little information about the trajectory, so you have to repeat it many times. This sort of measurement has recently been done for photons in a double-slit experiment, and the measured trajectories are exactly the Bohmian ones.